Adolfo de Jesus Constanzo November 1, 1962 May 6, 1989, was a Cuban-American serial killer, drug dealer, and cult leader of an infamous gang that was dubbed the Narcosatanists Spanish, Los Narcosatanicos, by the media. His cult members nicknamed him the Godfather El Padrino. He led the cult with Sarah Aldri, whom their followers nicknamed the Godmother La Madrina. The cult was involved in multiple, ritualistic killings in Matamoros, Tamaulipas, Mexico, including the murder of Mark Kilroy, an American student killed in Matamoros in 1989. Constanzo was born in Miami, Florida to Delia Aurora Gonzalez, a Cuban immigrant mother in 1962. She gave birth to Adolfo at the age of 15 and eventually had three children, by different fathers. She moved to San Juan, Puerto Rico, after her first husband died, and remarried there. Constanzo was baptized Catholic and served as an altar boy, but he also accompanied his mother on trips to Haiti to learn about voodoo. The family returned to Miami in 1972 and his stepfather died soon after, leaving the family with some money. As a teenager, Constanzo became apprentice to a local sorcerer and began to practice a religion called Palo Mayom, which involves animal sacrifice. His mother remarried and his new stepfather was involved in both the religion and drug dealing. Constanzo and his mother were arrested numerous times for minor crimes like theft, vandalism and shoplifting. He graduated from high school, but was expelled from prep school. As an adult, Constanzo moved to Mexico City and met the men who were to become his followers, Martin Quintana, Jorge Montes and Omar Aria. They began to run a profitable business, casting spells to bring good luck, which involved expensive ritual sacrifices of chickens, goats, snakes, zebras, and even lion cubs. Many of his clients were rich drug dealers and hitmen who enjoyed the violence of Constanzo's magical displays. He also attracted other rich members of Mexican society, including several high-ranking corrupt policemen who introduced him to the city's powerful narcotics cartels. Constanzo started to raid graveyards for human bones to put in his enganga, or cauldron. Before long, his cult decided that the spirits of the dead that resides in the enganga would be stronger providing the cult more powerful protection, with live human sacrifices instead of old bones. The killings soon totaled more than 20 victims, whose mutilated bodies were found in and around Mexico City. This process escalated until Constanzo eventually decided that the gang needed the power of a brain from an American student, culminating with the 1989 murder of Mark Kilroy. Constanzo began to believe that his magic spells, many of which he took from Palo Mayom, were responsible for the success of the cartels, and demanded to become a full business partner, with one of the most powerful families he knew, the Calzadas. When his demand was rejected, seven family members disappeared. Their bodies turned up later with fingers, toes, ears, brains, and even in one case, the spine missing. Constanzo soon made friends with a new cartel, the Hernandez brothers. He also took up with a young woman named Sarah Aldrit, who became the high priestess of the cult. Constanzo made Aldrit second in command of his cult, and directed her to supervise his followers while he was shipping marijuana over the border into the U.S. In 1988 Constanzo moved to Rancho Santa Elena, a house in the desert. It is there where he carried out more sadistic ritual murders, sometimes of strangers and other times of rival drug dealers. He also used the ranch to store huge shipments of cocaine and marijuana. On March 13, 1989, Constanzo's henchman abducted a pre-med student, Mark Kilroy, from outside a Mexican bar and took him back to the ranch. Kilroy was a U.S. citizen who had been in Mexico on spring break. When Kilroy was brought to the ranch, Constanzo murdered him. Under pressure from Texan politicians, Mexican police initially picked up four of Constanzo's followers, including two of the Hernandez brothers. Police quickly discovered the cult and that Constanzo had been responsible for Kilroy's death. He sought a good slash, superior brain for one of his ritual spells. Officers raided the ranch and discovered Constanzo's cauldron, which contained various items, such as a dead black cat, and a human brain. Fifteen mutilated corpses were dug up at the ranch, one of them Kilroy's officials said Kilroy was killed by Constanzo with a machete chopped to the back of the neck, when Kilroy tried to escape about twelve hours after being taken to the ranch. Constanzo fled to Mexico City with four of his followers. They were only discovered when police were called to the apartment because of an unrelated dispute taking place there. 
As the officers approached, Constanzo, mistakenly believing they had located him, opened fire with a machine gun. This brought in police reinforcements. Determined not to go to prison, he handed the gun to follower Alvaro de Leon and ordered him to open fire on him and Martin Quintana. By the time police reached the apartment, both Constanzo and Quintana were dead. De Leon, known as El Duby, and Sarah Aldrit were immediately arrested. A total of 14 cult members were charged with a range of crimes, from murder and drug running to obstructing the course of justice. Sarah Aldrit, Elio Hernandez and Serafin Hernandez were convicted of multiple murders and were ordered to serve prison sentences of over 60 years each. De Leon was given a 30-year term. If co-leader Aldrit is ever released from prison, American authorities plan to prosecute her for the murder of Mark Kilroy. Other possible accomplices include Abel, Lima El Sodomita de Iztapalapa alleged suspect for the kidnappings in the mid-90s. Ruben Estrada Patitas Cotas, Christian Campos El Panzas, Emmanuel Romero El Trompas, Saul Sanchez El Macaco and Ricardo Pena El Sapilin. Sarah Maria Aldrete Villarreal born September 6, 1964, is a convicted Mexican serial killer who headed a drug smuggling and human sacrifice cult with Adolfo Constanzo. The members of the cult, dubbed by the media as the Narcosatanists Spanish, Los Narcosatanicos, called her the godmother La Madrina, with Constanzo as the godfather El Padrino. The cult was involved in multiple, ritualistic killings in Matamoros, Tamaulipas, Mexico, including the murder of Mark Kilroy, an American student killed in Matamoros in 1989. Born in Matamoros, Tamaulipas, Mexico, she attended high school in Brownsville, Texas, United States while still living south of the border, and gained resident alien status so she could attend Texas Southmost College. She was known among her peers as a good student. She is 6 feet 1 in 1.85 meters m, tall and studied physical education, preparing to transfer to a university to earn a teaching certification in physical education. Adolfo Constanzo, a Cuban-American fortune teller and religious cult leader, introduced her to witchcraft and dark magic. He gave her the nickname La Madrina, Spanish for Godmother, and initiated her into his cult, which was a conglomeration of Santeria, Aztec warrior ritual, and Palo Mayom, complete with blood sacrifices. Constanzo sexually assaulted and killed drug dealers and used their body parts for religious sacrifice ceremonies in an old warehouse, near Matamoros. Many of his victims' body parts were cooked in a large pot called a nganga. Constanzo made Sarah Aldrete second in command of his cult, and directed her to supervise his followers while he was shipping marijuana over the border into the U.S. in 1989. The killings grew more frequent and gained attention, when American tourist Mark J. Kilroy, a University of Texas student on spring break, was abducted. Constanzo, Aldrete and the rest of the cult went on the run when detectives discovered their shrine. They found human hair, brains, teeth and skulls at the site of the murders. Eventually, the police found their hideout in Mexico City on May 6, 1989, after a shootout, Constanzo and one of his accomplices were shot and killed by another member of the cult, apparently at Constanzo's behest. Aldrete was convicted of criminal association in 1990 and jailed for six years. In a second trial, she was convicted of several of the killings at the cult's headquarters and sentenced to 30 years in prison. If Aldrete is ever released from prison, American authorities plan to prosecute her for the murder of Mark Kilroy.